Hello, I'm Dave Iverson. Some diseases come with their own early warning device. A blood pressure cuff, for example, can signal the possibility of hypertension. Plus, it provides a way to monitor whether later treatment is working. But with Parkinson's disease, there's no early warning system, no test results to tell you what's really going on with the disease. But now, scientists may be getting closer to finding a biomarker, a detection device for Parkinson's. The data come from an ongoing Fox Foundation study called the Parkinson's Progression Markers Initiative. Scientists are analyzing the blood, urine, brain imagery, and cerebrospinal fluid of 600 volunteer subjects, 400 with Parkinson's plus 200 controls. Fox Foundation co-founder Debbie Brooks is participating as a control subject. There's an extraordinary amount of data that's being collected, and um, this is why patients want to give. This is why controls want to give, that, that this information is at the, the key to unraveling these mysteries. At an international conference in Dublin in June, Fox Foundation researchers reported on what they're beginning to learn about how the body may change with the onset of Parkinson's, including changes within the brain itself. Study participants undergo a brain scan like this one, called a DAT scan, plus a new kind of scan which measures water movement inside the brain. You can see uh, differences between Parkinson's disease patients and controls. And so what we think this reflects is a difference in how water moves throughout the brain, um, which um, reflects some structural changes in the brain, uh, brains of Parkinson's disease. Another possible marker for the presence of Parkinson's is a protein called alpha-synuclein. Alpha-synuclein accumulates in the brain of anyone with Parkinson's, forming clumps called Lewy bodies. Those clumps are a definitive marker of Parkinson's, but they can only be detected upon autopsy. Not exactly an early warning device. So researchers have begun to analyze cerebrospinal fluid, the fluid that bathes the brain and also contains alpha-synuclein. And so what we see in uh, the cerebrospinal fluid is that it's lower in um, PD patients um, compared to controls. And we think that's because it, it is accumulating and glomming on in the brain. The early data come just two years into what is a five-year study. So the results are still very preliminary. But scientists are hopeful the research will lead to that early warning and detection device, a blood pressure cuff of sorts for Parkinson's. By the way, if you'd like to participate in the study, volunteers are still needed. You can find out more at michaeljfox.org. I'm Dave Iverson.